8 to 6. Yar. Did the ship move? Uh, no, it did not. Uh, actually, did it did it move this round? This round? No, it didn't. Not this round. No. Is dial A set uh, at zero? No. Is dial B at zero? Yes, it is. Okay. This contempt minus one. Uh, turn to page fifty-three. So this contempt minus one here. Uh, turn to page fifty-three. Uh, fifty-three. Set dial A equal to the number of players. So. We're only one, but when it says number of players, you always uh, use as if we were four, okay? As if we had four players. So there we go. So I guess it's another fight, huh? So maybe we should have just sunk it. Oh, well. Um, oh, I didn't. I forgot to show, sorry, show you it yet, but I was, I was reading along, all right? So now we're here. Um, so we can fight them. We can loot them. So I will loot treasure because I, I need one treasure. Uh, I will loot their cannons. Why not? I will parlay. And I don't need to recruit crew. I mean, we're at max here. No need to, to do that. So I'm going to fight the enemy crew, I guess. Should I parlay? Or should I just fight them? I'll just fight them. Yeah. I'll loot their cannons, which is handy, and their treasure, but I will fight them uh, twice, all right? So let's resolve these, okay. So my first fight enemy crew action, uh, brawn plus one. Um, our brawn, uh, so I could actually go with the brawn. So I will use my less supply and get a brawn plus one. This has a star in there, so again, we're going to loop around and fill in another one of these. Maybe I shouldn't have done this, but oh well. Now let's perform a run check. Uh, because I don't really need this event. I would love to, to get all of them, but we will see. Okay, brawn check. We have uh, three skill, uh, brawn skill. And we have nothing else except our dog, so we get a plus four for our brawn. Let's see what we get here. A seven. Seven plus uh, four is eleven. Uh, eleven Reduce dial A by 2. Oh, that's good. So dial A goes down by 2. So it was at 4. Now it's at 2. And infamy plus 2. So 1, 2, 3. Because, again, our amazing parrot. That was our first fight. So we can get him uh, right now. If we get... Okay, we can get him. Uh, brawn plus 1. So I, can't, I don't have a supply to spend. So I can't increase my brawn skill. So let's just roll uh, and see what we get. So we get a plus four and I need an 11. So I need a seven or more. I have three rerolls. Seven or more, come on. An eight, fantastic, we got it. So with an eight, that's a 12. We reduce it by two, the uh, dial A once again and we get some more infamy. So this goes to zero and our infamy, oops, sorry, uh, it's two. Infamy, right? Two, but it's one, two, three because of our parrots. There we go. So we didn't manage. We didn't manage to loop, unfortunately. Uh, that was the fight enemy new crew. That was fantastic. One turn and we got them all. Now we can just loot them. <laughs> okay. So loot treasure. Uh, hunting plus one. Again, I have no supplies uh, for the skills. So then, if action two was chosen by one or more players. Oh, the, it was that. Yeah, actually, yes. Uh, we we had the fights enemy crew. If factions was chosen by one or more, this round perform a hunting check. Okay. Oh, we could only do the loot if we were fighting. Oh, okay. Good to know. Thank goodness I I went and fought them. So let's do a hunting check. So I have uh, two skill uh, to my hunting two. Then plus one for the parrot. Plus one for the dog. Oh, and plus four for my uh, history, my story cards here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight from my skills. Plus eight, fantastic! All right, let's uh, let's lose some stuff here. Ooh, eight plus four. Uh, that's not good, right? Now I wanna, I wanna, I want. Uh, I'll use a reroll because I wanna read the best one. I need an eight here. That's a five. I'll use another reroll. 
It's a 9. Fantastic. Okay. 9 plus 8, that is 17. That allows me to read entry 507. Okay. 507. Let's see what we got. Some nice treasure there. 507, right? Yeah. Amongst the chaos, you find an old forgotten brass lamp hidden behind a few crates of pickled shark brains. You eagerly use your sleeve to polish the lamp. The lights in the room suddenly dim. The lamp vibrates in your hands, and then something truly strange happens. The lamp lets out a toot and fills the air with a rancid smell. You decide to toss the magic fart lamp and grab the crates of shark brains instead. <laughs> what is this, a magic fart lamp? All right. So, completely nonsense, but there you go. Three supplies uh, for us. So that's good. We were at zero, so three is a very nice. Very much appreciated. We needed that. Uh, okay, last but not least, let's uh, loot the cannons as well. Let's just take all the everything they have. Aim plus one. So now I could actually improve my aim. Uh, I won't. Uh, nah, I, I won't improve it. I'll keep these supplies. Uh, and plus one, then, if action two was chosen, yes, by one or more players, it was. Uh, we can choose two of the following. Okay, fantastic. So we can get some supplies, upgrade a cannon, gain a loaded level one, no, uh, or steal a big cannon. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'll upgrade one cannon by one level. And that's good because we have a, uh, we have a level... Oops, sorry. We have a level two cannon that is loaded, and if I upgrade it, it becomes a level 3 loaded cannon. So this was a pretty good pick, right? Uh, and then my second option is, of course, stealing a big cannon. How could I not choose that? So let's read entry 509. Let's see what this big cannon is. Let's hope it's not a magical fart cannon. Uh, although I, I guess it would be unpleasant for our, our enemies. You had just wheeled a stolen cannon over to your ship when you realize there's someone hiding inside the barrel. Granted, the barrel is wider than most, but there's no way you could fit inside. What the blazes? How did you get in there? You demand. Oh, Fran, it was easier getting in than out. She confesses. <laughs> they call me Skinny Tammy, but this time I fear I wasn't skinny enough. Could you help me out? I'd sure be grateful. Okay, we could help her out firing the cannon or help her out by pouring oil down the barrel. Okay, uh, pouring oil would be ideal. Uh, she's going to rob us. I'm almost sure she's going to rob us and we're going to be the good guys and uh, end up on the uh, wrong side of it. But uh, let's, uh, let's help her out. Let's pour some oil and uh, uh, help her out. After what we did to those other pirates on the sea, we just stole all of their stuff and left them to die. I think we can be the good guys here. You pour oil down the barrel and manage to yank skinny Tammy out of the cannon. I can't believe that worked! She exclaims. What's that supposed to mean? You reply with annoyance. Do you think I'm stupid or something? No, I, I just... I, 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 I don't know. She stammers. You're gonna learn something now that you're with us. You boast. All me ideas work. Every last one of them. You grab the cannon. Now shut up and help me push this thing, will you? All right, cool. So, crew plus one. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't do much for us. We're at maximum. And we get an unloaded level three or lower cannon. Um, I don't have... So, I already have two lower uh, level threes. I have a level one and a level one here. I'm not sure... Can I just replace these? I, I'm... Oh, no, but wait. Ah, okay, low, level three or lower. So I guess, just so I get in something out of it, I guess I could replace this level one with a level two. Uh, I'll assume so. I'm not completely sure, but uh, if not, it would be kind of a, a wasted reward, and that feels a bit bad. So let's replace this level one with a level two that uh, is also unloaded. So that is done. Okay, uh, that was the steel cannons. Uh, it wasn't as great as I thought it would be. So, round end, read entry, 8 to 5. So, we've completely murdered them all. So, I'm guessing there's some good stuff coming our way now. 8 to 5. Yar. 
Oh, sweet mother, cries a horrified crew member of the other ship. They've killed Lil Gertie. You look down at the burly woman you just ran through with your sword. I love you all, she gasps. Be, be true to each other. She gives one last wheezy <laughs> gasp before her eyes gloss over. Monster, cries another crew member. Holding a fist in the air, he begins to chant, Lil Gertie. Little Gertie! Others of his crew join in, and you begin to feel awkward, standing there with your sword stuck in the woman and all. You pull it free, but the ensuing mess you make only incites the crowd further. Mark my words, you beast! Spits a woman with patches over both eyes. We will not soon forget this vile deed! She was the best of us! She helped me turn me life around! Helped all of us! Oh, there shall be a response! Blood for blood! Revenge for Lil Gertie! Revenge! And all of her crew, including one or two confused members of your own crew, take up the chant. It just happened here. Why, why are we such bad guys? I mean, we're not the ones who started this attack. Uh, we were... Just, uh, we were just moving along uh, on our, our little path here. Which actually reminds me that we had the Clearing Stone. I'm not sure if we could actually use the Clearing Stone to move twice uh, and not stop here on this fight. But oh well, at least you got to see how, how fighting works. But I mean, come on. I wasn't the one who started this attack, uh, I think. So, well, never mind that. Uh, let's get three Infamy. Let's uh, loop around. What a waste of Infamy. But we get one more mark here. We're almost done. We just need one more. Uh, and we get a reroll, which is good because we've spent uh, a lot of them. So we now have two of these. Okay, uh, let's continue on. Okay, and now uh, what the app says after doing continue, reduce hull, crew, and our supplies by a total of X. X being the value of dial A. Okay, it's zero, so we reduce it by nothing. The highest infamy player moves the ship one space. Read the entry listed on the ship's new space. All right. So, I move the ship one space. Again, like I said, Clearing Stone says when any player moves the ship one or more, you may move it one additional. So, it's weird because this doesn't, uh, uh, this event doesn't allow me to move more than one, usually by spending the hull or the supplies, as you've seen previously. But again, the Clearing Stone does allow us to move more, uh, even further. So, I'm, I am going to move twice, uh, so I'll move one, two, and I am now at 977, which is where we need to go with, uh, with our objective here, uh, the sail past the edge. So yeah, uh, that's, that's what I'm going with, because uh, if not, I guess the Clearing Stone would be completely useless, because every single event since we got it doesn't allow us to move more than once, so yeah. So, 977, uh, let's go into the app, let's, uh, let's put it there. So we are at the ocean's edge. Uh, we got there pretty fast. It's really close to the other island, so I mean, wasn't much of a challenge, I would say, especially with the stone uh, helping us out. Okay, is the clearing stone written on ship's log? Uh, yes, it is. After days of sailing, the ocean's edge comes into clear view. It is a massive, hazy wall of roiling water and howling wind. But you spot a massive ship flying the colors of the Royal Navy, positioned between you and the edge. That's the flagship for the crown! Someone shouts. We have to run. If we turn around now, we might not be spotted. Nonsense! Captain Vance has fire in his eyes and the clearing stone in his arms. We sail for the ocean's edge. If Captain Razor stands in our way, then it's to Davy Jones' locker with him. As you approach the ship, you see the Royal Sailors and Captain Razor, the most feared man in the Royal Navy, standing on the prow, looking pleased to see you. The ship gets close enough for you to hear Razor shout out, I'll be having that stone, Vance, and your heads. Okay, he got onto us pretty fast because he was suspiciously far away but uh, I guess the wind was in his favor uh, let's go with that so we are going to remove special location token 962 from the the game uh, which is actually his ship okay so he's going to cheat and teleport uh, we're going to turn to page 57 and set dial A to 10 so and then set dials B and C to 5 okay so we're, there's going to be a big fight here uh, that's what I'm guessing so let me remove this from the game 
Okay, this is gone. Uh, let's look at the overheads. So to page 57. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, dilated 10. Oh boy. I think in this our hull is just completely pristine. Uh, and then but B and C to 5. 5 and 5. There we go. Okay. We have some, some nice cannons here uh, to help us out, which is good. All right. Uh, what else now? Uh, well, nothing else. Okay, now we fight. All right. This is a man of war. His ship, uh, enemy hull, enemy sails is B. And the C is actually the captain, the captain. So we can just try to kill him off. Huh. Try to isolate him. So this says here, our ship's outmatched in every way. Damaging the enemy sails will slow them down and let us avoid the cannon fire. It's kill or be killed in this fight. So fire at their hull so we can send them to Davy Jones. All right, so we can try to slow them down if we get the sails. Uh, if we get the captain, I have no idea what happens. Uh, so uh, let's go at him. Let's go at him. So what will we do here? So I will load a uh, cannon because I have an unloaded level 3 cannon here. I will fire two cannons because we have two loaded ones. Uh, and what else? Oh, we have to guard the captain. We have to do this. All right. Okay, I guess that is it. Uh, is it? Yeah, I guess firing the cannons right now is, is, is a good option. Sure. Firing two, then loading them. Sure, why not? Let's let's do let's go with this. Okay, so load cannons. Uh choose two of the following. You spend a supply to flip one cannon from its unloaded to loaded. So I'll spend one supply. Uh, we're going down to two. And this uh sorry, this le uh, we're, we're at three, we're now at two, and this unloaded level three is now loaded. Uh, and then I can choose something else. We can get some infamy or a reroll. I'll go with a reroll because uh, I guess this will be handy for the fight. Okay, that's the load cannons. Uh, now let's fire them. Fire cannons, aim plus one. Um, now I'm not going to spend my supplies for this. Choose one of the following targets the hull sails, hull or sails. Okay, I can't target C right now. Okay, should I just go for the hulls directly? I think I will. I'll go for the hull. Uh, making them slower would help us avoid their cannons. I'm guessing their cannons are removing our hull. Our hull is at max, so I'll just go for their hull and i just try to get them down as fast as I can. So let's fire cannons. Uh, so my target will be A. Uh, and I'll fire my level, one of my level 3 cannons. So that's a plus 7. Right there. So plus seven and my aim is four. So that's uh, plus 11. So actually, sorry, I will actually spend that supply to get my aim a bit further. So yeah, because I will be firing a lot. So that's five, five for the aim, five plus seven, sorry. So that is 12. And I don't think I have anything here except my dog. So uh, that is 13. I have plus 13. I only need a 5 to get uh, to hit them for 3. So, oops. Okay, that went away. <laughs> Let's use another one. Oh, come on. What, what's going on? I need a 5. Come on. It's a 2. No. Reroll. Oh, come on. I need to go and get my lucky die. Okay, it's a six. All right, that's enough. Uh, so six plus, uh, what was it? Seven, five, 14. Uh, okay, that's a 20. So tar reduce target dial by three in infamy plus three. So infamy goes one, two, three, and four. And this dial A goes from 10 to seven. Okay, looking good. Uh, all right. That was the first fire cannons. Now we have another one. I will once again, I still have the other level three cannon. I'll use it. 
So that means I have another plus uh, to my one, two, three, four, five, another 13. So I need a five or more. Come on. Got a 10. Fantastic. So once again, we reduce the dial by three and we get some more infamy. So that's going to loop us. And that means we got the last events we needed. Fantastic. And this dial goes to a four. All right. Looking good. Last but not least, we are going to guard uh, the captain. Guard the captain, read entry 525. So let's see what happens here. 525. Is magic can written? No. Where is all of this stuff? No, we don't have a magic can. At the helm written. No, it's not. Fighting Razor. No, it's not. Come on. Captain Razor swings over to your ship, and everyone gasps in awe at his radiant manliness. Ooh, he can get it, says a lusty Emma Brown. Girl, you know that's right, agrees the guy right next to her. Captain Razor draws his cutlass and storms toward Captain Vance. Stop fawning over him, you fools, you shout. Defend the captain! Okay, <laughs> this will... <laughs> Uh, so we can attack him head on or sneak up behind him. Huh, sneak. What would sneak, sn uh, sneak <laughs> use? I don't know. Let's sneak. Let's be sneaky. Right, fighting razor on the ship's log. Okay, fighting razor. I'll write that. Fighting... Razor, sorry for not changing, but you don't really need to see me writing stuff. Uh, and then we perform a hunting check. Okay, so uh, that's who you will need to, to see. So there you go, finding Razor. Uh, okay. So I'm a bit bummed that I have to use this die, but let's go for it. A hunting check. Uh, I have hunting, I have only two, but then three, four. Uh, five, six, seven, eight. So I have plus eight here. Plus eight. That's a 13. I only need a five. Okay, let's, uh, I could discard this. No, let's, let's keep it. So five, I need a, need a five. Yeah. Oof, I got a 12. Fantastic. Okay, <laughs> that's more than enough. Okay. Aha! Okay, great. I've got to reroll. Okay. Oh, I did forget. Sorry. Did forget to show you this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You, you briefly go. snag Captain Razor in a coil of rope. As he reels backwards, you notice something shiny drop from his coat. And hence my reroll. Okay, so we got a reroll. We got one treasure. Which is a sack of gunpowder. Discard to gain aim plus one or supplies plus two. Okay. Uh, our aim is at maximum. So uh, I'll leave it here. But yeah. And gain a skill of our choice. Okay. Uh, skill of our choice. I will go. What could help us here? I guess brawn could help us. So I'll go actually and get brawn. I'll get one brawn. Uh, I'll, I, I think I need to spend the supply uh, anyway, so there you go. Okay, and that is done. Okay, uh, that is done. All right. Now, I will discard this uh, to get two supplies. It's uh, the ability on the card. So, two supplies. We're going from zero to two. Uh, and I could... I could discard this to get uh, two supplies as well, but this does give help me out with hunting, and there could be a very hard hunting uh, skill check coming up for fighting Razor, so I won't just discard it yet, uh, I'll keep these two supplies, alright? So, this is the round uh, end, so 8 to 7, let's, uh, let's read that, 8 to 7, yeah. Is dial... Uh, no, it is not. C at zero. No, it is not. They attack. 
They attack. No. Roll a die and add the value of dial B to the result. Okay, so dial B is at 5, so... Uh, come on. <laughs> 1, that is fantastic. 1 plus... Oh, sorry, you didn't see it. Oh, now you're not going to believe that I rolled a 1. But, that, but I did, I did roll a 1. Uh, it's 1 plus 5, it is a 6. So it's the worst result they could get. Reduce hull, crew and supplies by a total of 3. Okay. Total of three. So I'll reduce hull for one. I'll reduce crew for one. Uh, actually, crew for two. Yeah. Let's go with that. Okay. So that's the total of three. So one and two here. And begin a new round. Done. All right. So let's get these. And let's go for another round. Uh, so definitely, I'm still going to fire. I will definitely fire. So I'm trying to get... Okay, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to fire cannons twice. No, wait. I need to put here one on guard can, or guard captain. I, I'm going to do the swipe, side swipe. And I will do the fire cannon. So I really want to try and get them this round. Okay? Uh, so yeah, let's go with this. Uh, load cannons. No, sorry. Fire cannons. Aim plus one. Uh, we're already at max, no point in taking that, so we have a plus 5 from our skill, which is completely maxed, our aim. So that's 5, I will use my loaded cannon, the only one I have loaded, which is a level 1, unfortunately, so that's a plus 3. So 5 plus 3, that is 8. That is 8... Uh, and I don't have any more except for my dog. So that's nine. So I have a plus nine here. And I need, so I need a nine. If I get a nine, I'm, I would be very, very happy. We got an 11. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm super happy. So we got, uh, we got 18 or plus. So we reduced the tile by three. It's the A, of course, the one we've been going for this whole time. So it's only at a one right now. Uh, and we get some more infamy, so one, two, three, and four. It doesn't matter infamy right now uh, at all. Okay, this was the first fire cannons. Let's go for the second one. I have no more cannons to use to modify my results, so I only have the plus five, plus six. So five for my skill, one for my stunt dog, which has been fantastically, uh, wonderfully helpful. So yeah, let's go with this. Plus six. So we only need to do one damage. Uh, we got a nine. Nine plus six is a 15. Uh, 15 reduce the target tile by two and infamy plus one. Okay, so we we got him. Uh, we got him. So it goes to zero. Infamy, one, two. Yeah, fantastic. We, we completely got him. Uh, so side sweep. We don't really need to do this now, but uh, let's still do it. Navigation plus one. Uh, now, I'm not spending the supply for that. And perform a navigation check. All right. And subtract the value of dial B from your result. Ooh. Okay, so I will actually, sorry, I will actually spend the supply. I'll max out my navigation. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six navigation. Uh, six, seven from the dog. Eight. So that's a plus eight. Okay. Plus eight. Here we go. Four. Okay. Four plus eight. That's twelve. Uh, sure. Doesn't matter because twelve minus the five, the B minus five. That's uh, seven. Uh, hull minus one. So this was actually really bad for us. Six. Reduce dial A by two. Infamy plus one. Dial A is already at zero. So yeah, we would loop around with our infamy which doesn't matter at all, so this was completely waste, a waste of an action. Last but not least, let's guard the captain. Uh, read entry, 525 five once again, okay? Uh, this one, because it's red, we have to do this every single round. So let's see what happens uh, this time around. So entry, 525. Is magic can written? No, it is not. At the helm? No, it is not. Fighting razor? Yes, it is. 
You and Captain Vance do your best to repel Captain Razor, but the veteran soldier threatens to overwhelm you both. To make matters worse, you notice the wheel is now unmanned, and the ship has started drifting at the whim of the ocean's edge, all while being hammered with cannon fire from Captain Razor's ship. Okay, continue to defend the captain and call the nearest crew member to mend the wheel, or leave captain. No, no, I will defend the captain, so yeah. I'll do this. Right at the helm on the ship's log. Okay. At the helm. Okay. Here we go. And now we do a swagger check. Uh, we have three swagger, four, five, six, seven, and one more for the dog. So that's a plus eight for our swagger. So we're very swaggery. So, plus eight. That should be enough, right? Oh, we got a one. I'm going to reroll it. I don't. Okay, we're back. This was ridiculous. Uh, so, my recording stopped automatically when I rolled an 11. At the exact moment, it stopped. So, I will be fair here. Uh, since you didn't see the 11, I will roll again. Got an eight. Okay, uh, got an eight. This was a swagger. The we were doing 8 plus, uh, what was it? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Was that it? I think so. Uh, I believe so. So we got an 8 plus 7. Yeah, we clearly got the 13 uh, plus. You successfully Phew. gained the attention of Winnie LaRue, who quickly jumps into action and grabs hold of the wheel. Her expert steering gives your cannons a clear oh, shot into the enemy's hull. Okay, reduce dials A and B by one. All right. Uh, okay, not the most useful thing right now, but sure, I'll take it. All right. Uh, this was the guard the captain, right? Okay, so round end, we read entry eight to seven now. Is this the end? Uh, I think we're... Pretty close to it, if not the end. This is really big scenario, Jesus. Uh, is that all? Yes, it is. Aha! You cannot believe your eyes as Razor's ship begins to sink beneath the waves. The moment you are safe from Razor, Captain Vance grabs the ship's wheel. You watch as Captain Razor's crew members jump ship while yours drifts into the magical mist before you. You're unsure who is more doomed. But as your ship crosses past the ocean's edge, sailing into that mist, your vessel is not harmed, though it begins to make a terrible creaking noise. Steady now! cries Vance. Rogue waves! comes a voice from the crow's nest, and indeed your hearts sink as massive waves coming from either side tower over your ship. The crew shrieks in terror as the two waves curl in to crash down upon you. But the crash doesn't come. And looking up, you see the waves have met each other and now form a perfect tunnel of water through which you sail. The tunnel ends in utter darkness, but Vance unveils the clearing stone, and lo, you now sail a black sea from which rises a towering column of sculpted stone. It resembles a monkey with glowing red eyes. Its hands are held out as if awaiting an offering. The ship passes alongside it, and Captain Vance tosses the clearing stone into its cupped hands. Lightning stabs the sky as a storm rolls in at impossible speeds. A glow appears deep within the waters. It spreads as if another sun rises up from the depths, and your ship is tossed about on monstrous waves. Strange shapes begin to emerge in the water. In the distance, you see enormous tentacles break from the surface and thrash about. Something else, a winged beast the size of an elephant, bursts up from the water and begins flapping away into the storm. Lights of all manner of color shoot up from below and zigzag into the air. There's a sound, like a horn blowing. And then suddenly, everything goes black. When you come to, heaven knows how many hours later, the sky is bright and blue. And your ship, with no one at their post, is sailing past an island. A quadruple rainbow hangs on the horizon, and you look at each other, 
marveling at the sights and sounds. Is this the world beyond the edge? Someone asks. But something about the island seems familiar to you. I'm not sure. Someone else answers. Perhaps it is. Or perhaps this is the world we've always known. Only now, it is changed. Captain Jesbit J. Vance is nowhere to be found. You spend days searching the surrounding waters, but all you find is a piece of paper hidden in his hat that he left behind. It bears the lyrics to an old children's song that goes, One day I'll pass the ocean's edge to be a pirate true. I'll find a world to be me home with me own loyal crew. I'll ride upon the endless waves and find all treasure new. I'll live the pirate's life one day and bid this world adieu. Proof. Fantastic. We have made it. Congratulations. You have completed this adventure. Return all of the purple cards to the treasure deck. Okay. Uh, I guess I removed them. I don't even remember. Starting with the player with the highest infamy, interesting clockwise, each player resolves all co their constellation events. If they have one or more event tokens and then consult the endings chart on their player cheat sheet and reads their indicated ending fantastic okay let's do that that's the only thing we're missing here so we we do have these two uh events so we can end our little uh our little constellation event story here so first event let's get this out let's scratch this so which event we got i graciously offered the help cookie prepare tonight's meal for the crew it was the least I could do to repay everyone for the whole cannon incident. Of course, I failed to mention to Cookie that my special ingredient, a creme de cheddar, was actually a powerful laxative. <laughs> Supplies plus 6, all players misfortune plus 1. Okay, so let's sure. Okay, our little creme de cheddar, uh, I guess they they, uh, they eventually liked it, I, I would guess, uh, although they didn't know what it... It's actually cool, because the, the story intermingles. I graciously... graciously Graciously offered help Cookie prepare tonight's meal, blah, blah, blah. This was the least I could do to repay everyone for the whole cannon incident. I don't know if it has to do with that cannon we brought from the the ship we were fighting with. that had that uh, crew member inside. We poured the oil. Yeah, the, the, I mean, sure, the, it's a part of the game. Eventually, there's something related to cannon that's going to happen. But it's actually cool that this makes sense, I guess. So, last event here. Let's uh, use this. Let's scratch it and okay. I learned uh, old Professor Sherlock Meton has retired on the nearby island of Primrose. Old Coot did pretty well for himself while I'm out here squandering my talent on dim witted pirates. Perhaps it's time to resurrect dear Terry the ferryman and pay the professor a visit. Infamy plus seven. Ooh, that's a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We would loop around, although it doesn't really matter, but oh well. So here we go, we got the ending, uh, and so the ending, we have a three uh, exclamation point, which is bad, uh, the four, which is good, it means we've won, we were successful, and the five, we are legendary, and yep, we got all five, so we're good to go, uh, so I'll read our, our little ending here, uh, okay, so bear with me, newly, w I, I will have to refer to this, so... Newly wealthy from your adventures, you once again take on the role of romantic, ne'er-do-well Terry the Ferryman and pay a visit to Primrose Island. Just as you suspect, uh, Professor Sherlock Maton does not remember your false identity and the passage of time proves a capable disguise. You quickly ingra ingraci uh, ingratiate yourself with the professor, I don't know what this word is, then spend the next five years infiltrating every facet of the man's life. When and only when you feel you have earned his com trust completely, do you slip your creme de cheddar into his chowder at the 23rd annual Ritteries of Primrose Chowder Cook-Off. The resulting uncontrollable feculence proves to be a crippling social disaster for the professor. When you reveal your true identity and gloat, the defeated man politely asks you uh, politely asks if you are looking for his twin brother, a notorious prankster. And phased, you laugh and book passage on a ship to the main island. And so it is with a great joy that uh, we have reached the end of this first adventure uh, beyond the ocean's edge. What a journey. This is like a really big, big.
big uh, narrative journey. Uh, I was not expecting it to be so uh, complete in terms of uh, well, in terms of length. Honestly, uh, there's a lot of stuff happening. They kind of force combat on you if you don't uh, encounter it during the journeys. But yeah, it was very enjoyable. I hope you all enjoyed it as well. This was only the first scenario, uh, so we will have more. We will have some more. Uh, in this case, I guess, I'm not sure this is the second one. I'll try to see which, uh, which uh, order you, we should play these on. Uh, probably this, which is hard. I don't know. We will see. I'll look online and see what is the preferred uh, uh, playing order. And yeah, we're going to go with that. And we're going to go with uh, the second adventure uh, sometime in the future here on the channel. Remember, this is a solo series. We're going to go through all of this. All right. So hope you appreciated this. Hope you liked what you saw. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's see what uh, the adventures of uh, Captain Vance and uh, ourselves bring us in the future. So if you enjoyed this uh, video and others, I guess, do leave a like, consider subscribing if you haven't here on the channel. We've got some more solo stuff coming every week. And yeah, I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you all in the next video as well. So until then, stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye.